boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Earth's Layers Foldable. So what I'd like for you to do is take out your foldable notebook. In the center of your table, you will see a, a folder. Take out one sheet that has the circles on it, and you need to cut each of these circles out. Discard your scraps by making a pile for someone to pick up at the end of the class period. Um, layer these circles once you've cut them out in order from largest on the bottom to smallest on the top. I'll show you what this should look like. And you're just going to quickly cut them out. After you cut them out, I am going to have you layer them from largest to smallest. And you will fold each circle in half, but I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to pause this while I cut the rest. Okay, now I'm going to discard these scraps so that they're not on the floor and can be recycled at a later time. So make a pile in the center of your table. You are going to take these circles and you are going to place them. Eventually they will be in the center of your paper just like so. What I'd like for you to do first though is you are going to fold these, fold each circle in half to where it looks like a semicircle. Okay, then you are going to take the top flap and you are going to fold it over. Now, so that you have an idea of what you're looking at, I'm going to show you one of my examples. Uh, this is what we're doing next, but this is an example of Earth's layers and you see how the inner core, outer core, mantle, all of this, um, and, and you're going to label it and be able to compare and contrast the qualities of each layer. That is um, our standard that we're studying today. So. Um, again, what you're going to do is you're going to glue the top part down. You're going to line them all up at the fold. And then your crust information will go on the bottom. The information for each layer is going to go behind it and on top of it. So underneath. Okay. And then you're going to put the crust. You're going to actually draw the crust around the outside of your largest circle on your notebook paper. Okay, and you'll be using page 84 in your textbook along with page 91. Um, those two pages will help you gather that information. You also have a checklist, a rubric, or instructions in your folder on the table as a guideline of the actual information that I want for each layer. That's going to include your temperature. The temperature of each layer, it's going to be the density um, and the composition. What is that layer made of? You'll also draw the convection currents where they belong. So I'm going to show you again real quick how to set this up. I'm going to start with the largest layer and I'm going to put glue on the back. And I'm going to place that in the center of my paper. I'll take the next largest, and again, I'm only putting glue on half, the top half. And then I'm going to line those creases up. And I'll take the next largest. Again, and line those creases up so that if I wanted, the whole thing could fold forward like that. And now the last, the last 
circle for the center. It's going to be your inner core. So the glue needs to go on the top half of each circle. And there you have it. Okay? Now, these will need to be colored. Again, convection currents drawn. Um, I want your lithosphere, asthenosphere, all of those things that we're about to learn about. They need to be labeled. You can follow the rubric that's inside the folder on the green sheet of paper to make sure you include in the inf all the information. When you come into class tomorrow, I do want this set up. We will be working on it tomorrow in class. Okay, but you can see the convection currents are drawn in here. Um, and make sure that you're following the neatness rubric as well. Okay, any questions, please just ask.